Uh, so in, in, in this lecture, I will first give a brief overview of probabilistic graphical model so that it will be easier to follow the main lecture. Uh, specifically, I will give an a simple example to show, how, to show you how to construct a probabilistic graphical model. So two basic terms in, uh, in the probabilistic graphical model are observed nodes and hidden nodes. So the ob observed nodes represent something we know and something are given. It's normally represent our data and we use shaded circle to indicate it. The hidden nodes are something we don't know, normally represent something we would like to infer. So we use white circle to indicate it. Uh, there are also parameters in the model. Uh, the parameters uh, are also have like a no parameters and unknown parameters which were normally indicated by shaded or white squares, but people sometimes uh, ignore the difference between the data and parameters, and we just use circles to represent all the parameters. So in today's example, assume we have a four by four image like this. Uh, there are in total 16 pixels and four pixels in the center are red, remaining 12 pixels are blue. So with this image, we have observed features, which are the RGB values at each, for, uh, at each uh, pixel. So for example, the RGB of this pixel is 001, and RGB of this red pixel is 100. The unknown labels in this example is the object, which is indicated as one, and the, also we have the unknown label for background, which is indicated by two. So let's put this image here. Uh, again, we have an observed node for this blue pixel and the unknown label of this blue uh, and the unknown label of this blue pixel. So similarly, we have the observed and unknown, uh, unknown node for this red pixel. And we can construct a graph of, uh, for all 16 uh, pixels. So in this case, we can formulate this example as a supervised learning problem. So assume we have a set of images which were labeled already. So the warm color pixel was labeled as one and the cool color pixel was labeled as two. So this is how the graph will look like. So let's simplify the graph as this plot. We can see the red pixels are all labeled as one and the blue pixels are all labeled as two. So we might have other training image with more complicated colors. So for example, here we have light blue, sky blue, orange and yellow pixels. And sometimes the object shape for training image can also be very different. So for example, in this training image, the object shape is no longer square. So given all these labeled training set, we would like to estimate labels of a new unlabeled image, which is shown here. So the new image might have different colors, different object shape. So for this example, we use X to denote the observed RGB values and we use Y to denote unknown labels. So the RGB value, we assume it follows a normal distribution. And for unknown labels, we have one and two to denote object and background. In the training step, based on the labeled training images, we want to estimate mu and sigma for objects and background. I won't go deep into the mathematical derivation, but basically mu1 can be seen as the mean RGB values of all pixels that are labeled as one in the training set. Similarly, mu2 can be seen as the mean RGB values of all the pixels that are labeled as two in the training set. And sigma1 and sigma2 controls the variance. So in this plot, we can see the uh, where is the mu1 and mu2 and sigma1 and sigma2. 
So in the test step, we know the RGB values for each pixel of a new unlabeled image. And we also know the mu and sigma estimated by the training step. So for each pixel in this new image, we would like to know the probability of this pixel be assigned to, la to label one as object, and also the probability of this pixel be assigned to label two as the background. For example, if pixel i has RGB value one, zero, point one, and zero, so we can see it's very closer to mu one. And in this case, it has probability of 0 0.9 to be assigned to the, uh, label one as object, and the probability of 0 0.1 to be labeled as two as a background. So in this case, the pixel will be labeled as one. In another example, uh, the RGB value of this pixel is 1, 0 0.1, and 1. So in this case, we can see it's nearly around the middle of the mu1 and the mu2. So it has probability of 0 0.5 to be labeled as 1, and it also has probability of 0 0.5 to be labeled as 2. Then in this case, this pixel has an equal chance to be assigned to objects or backgrounds. In another example, the RGB value of the pixel uh, is, 0 point, uh, is 0 0.2, uh, 0, and 1. So it has probability of 0, 2 to be labeled as 1 as object. And it has much higher probability 0 0.8 to be labeled as 2 as a background. So in this case, this pixel will be labeled as 2. So this problem is also known as the naive Bayes classifier. So I would like to mention that the probabilistic graphical model can also be used for unsupervised learning, but I won't really go further deep. Uh, and I hope you now have a basic understanding of how probabilistic graphical model can be used in the supervised learning. So here are some materials that could be very useful for learning, pro learning the probabilistic graphical models. That's all. Thank you.